Hi folks, this is Jay, hope you're okay. We're on our third study and um, on brokenness and uh, let's come before the Lord. Father, help us to understand, please, your goodness and help us, Lord, to trust you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Let me ask you something. What has troubled you the last three years? What's been on your mind and worried you? the last three years. Think about it just for a minute. Now, what has God done for you recently? What good things are in your life at the present time? Think about that, what good God has done in your life recently. And you'll be able to find that though you've been down and you've perhaps been discouraged, you've actually got a lot to be thankful for. I think that we can be like um, a couple I've got in my notes here. Husband and wife go onto a mountain hill and they see a beautiful sunset but they start arguing with each other. And as they're arguing with each other, they miss the sunset. They miss the beauty of the nat natural world around them. Sometimes we can be like that. We can get discouraged. We can get down. And we can think about the negative things in our lives and fail to see the good things in our lives. Psalm 34, verse 8 and 9. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. God is good. And uh, we've seen here that taste and see that the Lord is good. Verse 17, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. Our God is a God of goodness. And he hears our cry and he meets our needs. Let's turn to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Two Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 and 10. It says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake I delight in weaknesses and in insults and in hardships in persecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak then I am strong. It's in our weakness that God will make us strong. It's in our brokenness that God will come and fill us with his grace. Exodus 6, 6 to go in a second thoughts therefore say to the Israelites I am the Lord I will bring you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians I will free you from being slaves to them and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with mighty acts of judgment to come to the end uh, you could look at Psalm 22 24 Nahum 1 7 God is good so don't stress don't worry about tomorrow don't worry about today Sit back, relax, make yourself a hot cup of chocolate, put some quiet music on and realise that God is in control. He loves you and he will meet your needs. So be encouraged. Let's come before the Lord and uh, I'm going to close in prayer. I've got to go down and look after my guests. I can hear them talking to someone now. So Let's come before the Lord. Lord. We just thank you for your goodness and love and your grace. We give you the praise and the glory. And Father, we pray that we would see your goodness in our lives. Bless those who hear these words in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening. We've got one more study. Maybe do that later today. So take care. God bless.